The Cinema Arts Center is Long Island's premium place to see movies and also for all kinds of other events. We wanted Jesse Ventura here for an earlier book. He's uh, one of the most articulate and principled people I think there is out there in the world, both politically and otherwise. He's a Renaissance man. And although the other book didn't work out, this time it did. It's the 50th anniversary of the assassination of JFK. And uh, it's appropriate that a book about that conspiracy should be here and that someone of the stature and creativity of Jesse Ventura should be the one to uh, talk about this. President Kennedy was killed in 1963, and we still aren't being told the truth. My new book is uh, They Killed Our President, uh, 63 Reasons Why You Can Believe It Was a Conspiracy. And I've been studying the Kennedy assassination now probably since 1985, seriously. And uh, I just felt that I wanted to go officially on the record so for whatever it's worth, say 100 years from now, uh, people will understand and know that the 38th governor of Minnesota did not believe the Warren Commission. Had Jack Kennedy lived, our world today would be far, far different than what it is. Well, I think things people need to know that we point out clearly in our book was that Jack Ruby and Lee Harvey Oswald absolutely knew each other. Jack Ruby even stated that he'd known Lee since he was a child. Now that changes the whole scenario, doesn't it? When you got the Warren Commission saying, oh, there were no ties between them at all, and Jack Ruby did it to save Jackie Kennedy from this horrible trial. Anybody that believes that, I got some land to sell them down in the Florida swamps. If it had been a conspiracy, someone would have talked, right? Right? Well, first off, let me give you an example of one thing. The Manhattan Project, where they created the nuclear bomb. 100,000 people worked on that, and yet not one word was said about it until it landed in Japan. They kept the secret. What people need to remember is there were two conspiracies that took place that day. The first conspiracy was the actual murder of our president. The second conspiracy was the cover-up of that murder. Castro didn't do it. I've actually met with Fidel Castro. I'm the only, I believe, elected official while elected that, were, that has met with Fidel Castro. I had an hour with him. He said, I love my country, and if I would have killed Kennedy, my country would have been eliminated off the face of the earth. Do I look like someone who would do that? And I, I told him, no, you don't. I said, have we gotten the offers for interviews on this book like we have my past one? She said, no, these have been tough. CBS won't have me on, NBC won't have me on, ABC won't have me on, Big Bad Fox News won't have me on. Uh, uh, MSNBC, one of their early people gave me two and a half minutes. That's all they gave me. And so CNN's been fairly good. Every one of my books I've written have been New York Times bestsellers, yet the New York Times has never reviewed them. They've never reviewed one of my books, and they're certainly not going to review this one. You know, I knew that when I wrote this book. This could go to number one on the New York Times bestseller list, and rest assured it'll be never be reviewed by them. Where a murder takes place, what happens? They come in with that yellow tape, remember? And they tape everything off and no one's allowed inside that tape until forensic and all the scientists and all the physical evidence people can get in there, do their job. When they're done, then the tape comes down. Jack Kennedy was killed inside that car. That's a crime scene. Do you know where that car was Monday morning after President Kennedy was killed Friday? It was, no, it was at the Ford plant up in Michigan which we describe in the book from a witness, having the upholstery redone, the front windshield Jeez. replaced, and all this on the orders of new President Lyndon Baines Johnson. Jeez. Why wasn't he charged with obstruction of justice for destroying a crime scene? This was bigger than what people realized. What happened that day was a coup d'etat, and we in the United States are in denial in admitting it. A coup d'etat is when your government is overthrown, and in this particular instance, it wasn't overthrown by a ballot, it was overthrown by a bullet. When some tragedy like this happens, the government's going to come out with what they call the official story. Well, the official story, it's properly named. It's generally to protect officials. They say 80% of the people do not believe it. 
So that's four out of every five people don't believe it. And remember, there's no statute of limitations on murder. You can, you can investigate a murder at any time because of the statute. There are no limitations on it.